Hey guys, happy Independence Day to any Grenadians who are watching this because today is February 7th. It's Grenada's Independence Day and luckily yesterday I had the chance to make oil down. If you're not Grenadian, you probably don't know what oil down is because I didn't before I came here. Oil down is Grenada's national dish um, and it's basically where like a lot of the like local foods that are grown are like put into this big pot and they're all cooked together and it tastes really good. I was really skeptical about ever trying it when I first heard of it and like saw what it looked like but I finally tried it last year and I've been wanting some since and all of my Grenadian subscribers are like you have to make oil down you have to make oil down and so my friend Jamal he goes to SGU he's Grenadian his mom agreed to help me and so yesterday I got a chance to make it with her um, and it came out really good so i just wanted to show you guys tell you guys like you know i'm getting my grenadian colors like you know and so um i really enjoyed making it it came out really good so this video is going to show you all i hope you all approve of my first oil down and so yeah this is jamal this is my friend jamal because I, I, I already did my intro and i introduced you. hi everybody this is this is jamal right she said that already are you Nathan? My name is Nathan. Nathan's Nathan, so they're also helping. Okay, so we're starting off like washing everything. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is cutting up the breadfruit. Um, and so we have to take out the center and cut all the skin off. And so it's this fruit, it kind of has like the consistency of a potato and like I've even seen like fries made out of it, but yeah, it's kind of like a potato. Um, and then Jamal's mom like ended up cutting her finger. So then she let me try to cut it, but like I'm not really good at it and the knife was dull and like I was really afraid to cut my fingers. Um, but you know, like with slow and steadiness, it like wins the race. And so like I still try cause like I didn't want to just give up and and then I eventually did end up getting it off. The cool thing about oil down is you can literally put like anything in it and so you can put any meat like pork, fish, chicken and turkey, anything. We use chicken wings and turkey wings and so we're just putting it in the center of the pot. Let me tell you, right now is bad boy time. My mother will tell me what to do because I don't know nothing what to do. <laughs> about cooking all down, cleaning yam, provision. So, mommy. What is this? You said this is a this yam. Is so, I don't know if I'm peeling it okay, because I never really do that before. Yeah, I don't like. Okay, yourself. Mm -hmm. If you have another knife, we need to use one. It's just those two. I have, I have another one. Oh. I'll get it. You need these two. So it's okay that the yam have this kind of yellow kind of. Um, apparently I'm wasting it now. Yeah, this this good. Okay, let's open this. Okay, second assembly. Oh wait, so you just throw it in the pot? No. I'm not in the pot yet. So where you pick peeling tree? <laughs> Can you still it? Yeah, why are you doing it like this? Right. And, and then, then cut it through the middle. And then just peel it. Spit in the open. middle? Yeah. Like this? Like this? <laughs> well, that's the idea. And then of. just pack it like way. Okay, so, so maybe we should. So we cut them in. So maybe. You know, I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like when you start doing it for the first time, it's kind of hard. Yeah, yeah when you when it, you get used to it, it's, yeah. it's like it's like second nature. I'm still not properly used to it. I can do it, but I can't. And you said this is called big. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's just like an it's unwrapped like banana. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And you said wash it? Yeah. Yeah. They all kept telling me like, you know, don't feel bad because it's your first time. Um, it was kind of awkward cutting it because like cutting the tips off were easy, but like when you cut the 
banana like it's or the fig it's really interesting when it's like unripe because it's really firm and if you cut too deep then you'll cut the banana which is also firm um, and it just won't peel right so it's like it, it takes like that perfect cutting to like just get it like just right and then another thing with the unripened banana is like it makes your hands really sticky so you have to like wash them really good afterwards um they kept telling me like make sure you wash your hands and it's kind of like this weird texture but your hands get all sticky but it was an experience and like i still enjoyed it then the next thing we had to do was just like wash them all off before we added them to the pot Wow, Brittany. Like solid. Mm -hmm. Can I come down like from the top? Y'all, I never knew what work went into making the oil down, but like now I understand like why people say people put their foot into dishes like this, cause like wow. Okay, so this is callaloo guys, and it's like a like a leafy green. It's like that it grows down here in Grenada. It's like very similar to collard greens back in the U.S. For like, like it's in that same family. So now we're just like packing the pot with fish everywhere. Okay, so now we're adding carrots and pumpkin. Just like Jamal's mom said, just to make it look pretty and everything. it to make sure like it's like well mixing all in there straining all of the coconut and turmeric um, cause it was just kind of like shredded. You would add a little bit of water, mix it around and cause then the water was what was going in there but you don't want like the actual turmeric and coconut to go in there but it gives the flavor and the taste and the color. Um, so this was me just straining it, um, trying to get as much out with my hands. And then after that, like everything you couldn't get, then you just use the strainer to get the rest um, and pour it in. And then like we didn't have enough liquid, so then you just add more water back to it and then do the process over. So we did it a second time after this. So now the pot is ready to go on the fire. So we're gonna get it to start cooking. And then after that, we'll add the dumplings in, but we gotta get it boiling first. So like you can see the liquid we strained down in there and it has everything. So now um, we're just about to get like the fire going and then we're gonna go like start the fire so we can start cooking. Okay, so we realized we don't have salt, so Jamal's going to the store to get us salt because we need it to go in the dumplings. But in the meantime, we're gonna start the actual pot boiling and then it won't take long to make the dumplings. 
so we're coming outside to cook it. The gas on? Yeah. Right, so the pot is on. Yep. Boom. So it's about to start cooking now. Now you gotta go get the salt. <laughs> Okay, change of plan. I'm going with them to get salt from the store. I just need my mask out of my car. So we're gonna walk down the street. Cause there's a, apparently a grocery store right down the street. So we're gonna walk now. I think we're just walking to the gas station right here. Unlike in the US, like you have to have on a mask. You have to use hand sanitizer everywhere, most yeah. places. Yeah. yeah. You normally get your temperature taken right at the door too. So see. And then you get your temperature taken, you write down all your information, and it's like everywhere you go. Can I buy something? I'm actually getting something to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna get ice cream. Okay, so we got the salt. And the gas stations, like, you know, have food, produce, like most places do, candy. They also sell seasonings. But, like, everywhere down here, you can find seasonings, like, everywhere. They even have onions. Oh, my camera moves. They have clothes, of course, like toiletries and stuff. So, yeah. So, we're about to head back. Okay, so we're back. Well, now we're about to make the dumplings. So we're adding about half of this flour. Is that good? Is that good? Or more? Hmm? I gotta add more. I don't know. Okay. I opened this very awkwardly. <laughs> like this much or less? Okay. And then just mix that up. Not all of it at once, right? Cause it's supposed to come out like a dough, right? Right. Okay. So now I'm just adding water, making dough. Now I'm not a baker, so this is always hard for me. But it's definitely still powdery, so. Um, at first I was like trying to like not get one hand dirty and I was like trying to get this whole thing done like I hate my hands being dirty um but after a while like I saw like okay like I really need to use two hands and so that was me like kneading the dough um yeah I I could never bake for a living like because I I don't like this and then like luckily Jamal's mom was like kind of there like like oh no you need to add more flour because like it was obviously like way too sticky because like good dough shouldn't like stick to your hands like that and so I just like kept going kept kneading it until like it got perfect Okay, now we're taking the dough back. So when it starts boiling, we can make the dumplings and we can like go in and put it in the pot. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to boil, we're gonna eat some sugar cane, which I've never eaten straight. Like, you gotta cut it. I will try to cut it, like. If not, I mean. It's tough, like, maybe yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I wanna do I don't know, I've never had this. I mean, you, you can, can tell me. do it with that, it's just gonna take a while. But I could do it with your teeth. Okay. You okay, so we're use, gonna, use we're gonna eat it with our teeth. Like, turn them over here. People gonna say, what jam I'm making Britney do? I know. 
But your hands are still. I'm just looking. <laughs> Hold on. Make sure to cut out the part of the hands. Um, it could be a very far Try to get this off. With my teeth? Mm -hmm. So, guys, I did not. Listen to me. Look at me. I'm not touching with me. She volunteered to do it with her teeth. Oh, this is gonna break my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm weak. Just, 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 yeah, right. just rip it. Just rip it. Just do it as, you know, do it as, do the mouth work like. Do I just put it in there? We gotta stir the I had to mute this part because a loud van went by and I didn't want my video to get like a copyright claim. But yeah, this was just me like picking the sugar cane, trying with my teeth. Okay, Jamal is gonna just cut the rest off because it's, it's not working. Just cut a piece. Yeah, I just want, not that big, I just want a little piece. Hold on, look, you just want to cut. So I just eat this. Oh, let me look at this one. Okay, I just plenty those peeps. <laughs> get, a, get a train like mine. Anyways. Okay, so I just eat this. Yeah, well, like, oh, there's on ants it in here. Suck it. <laughs> and I guess you just eating the ants. <laughs> <laughs> you ants with them? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Can we get a whole colony of ants? <laughs> yeah, that is it. That is it. Okay, we're doing part two now. Mm -hmm. Please don't hit me in the eye with this. <laughs> okay, so just, just bite it. It doesn't have a taste. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a taste. Mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of does. It tastes like sugar, like yeah, like fruit know. sugar. Like yeah, I guess cool. it's a sugar cane. And you spit this part out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm a real one, guys. Too. Okay, so Nathan's showing me how to make the dumpling because now the oil down is boiling. So. So okay, and then you just put that down in the pot. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's not hot and you need to pick the towel. Do we just put it in like the dumpling? Go, it's getting hot. Hold on, let me get some lunch. Okay, so this is bitter. The dough was a little too soft, so I had to add some more flour. So now we're just gonna roll it out. Dip it, chef Nick. Yeah. I mean, some people do it like thinner, some do it thicker, but like on a regular, like they have a couple of Okay. Excess. So my dumplings weren't perfect. Nathan was like a, a pro at this. His He used to help his mom like cook a lot, he said. But so we were just like rolling them. You're just rolling the dumplings into like little cylinders and you just put it on the pot literally to boil. Um, so yeah, I love the dumplings. Like that's like one of my favorite parts. So I was like, oh yeah. And I didn't get it later on in the video, but like Jamal and Nathan said, these were some of like the best dumplings. So I did good. And I was like really excited like to be doing all of this. So now the dumplings are in. So the dumplings are all these little things of dough. Um, we're almost done mixing it. And then apparently, well, I just learned like a few seconds ago, it's like you're not supposed to mix oil down. So like literally like, it. No or stir it. it. So like once you layer everything, like you literally just let it cook. So like now we're like packing the dumplings on. And that's it, right? Like once this is done, I think like it's done. Once, we just gotta yeah, let it cook. just gotta let it. So we're just finishing putting the dumplings in and then we're gonna finish letting it cook. Now we cover the pot. Okay, so it's done now. And we just, it's dark outside now. So we came over here in the light. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. So it's done. Oh, look over the wrong color. I was trying to see how hot it was. Okay. Here's a better picture. We're inside, like in the light and stuff. So it's all done, the dumplings on top. And oh, it's fogging up my camera. Okay, so we're just gonna let it cool. And then yeah, we're gonna eat this. So guys, Brittany cooked for us today. Let me see how Brittany all don't taste. I hope it tastes good. Your mom helped too. She did. 
are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get like the meat and stuff in here too. I don't. I can't remember how they put the meat. It's like in the like kind of in, in the, the middle. Center, yeah, in the center kind of. I mean, can I say you want that whole mouth for That's like a wing right there, it looks like. Okay, so I'm about to try it. See how it tastes. I hope it tastes good, because you know, I've had, I've had good oil down. So like, I know what it's supposed to taste like. Really? Mm -hmm. The dumpling's good, and I like dumplings. I need to go and scan yeah, it's, it's good so far. Do you like it, Mr. Tiki? I, love I don't it. like Grenadian food. I never said that. Yes, you did. Mm -mm. I did not say it like that. Let's go, come. Okay. I need a four. I like it a lot. Like the oil is good. It's good. But I'm gonna go sit and eat. So I'm gonna end this here. I'm so happy I was gonna be able to make oil down. But so many of my subscribers kept telling me like, oh, I need to make it. So I finally made it. So happy Independence Day to everyone out there that's Grenadian, whether you're here in Grenada or you're overseas somewhere. And be sure to stay safe out here. And until next time, 